Hello YouTubers, it's Milt Mephison's back with another review. Uh, today we're not going to do the LG Marquee, which is the phone I had previously, until I caved. That's right, yours truly <sighs> went and got the HTC Evil Design. I know what you're thinking. Man, what the? What are you thinking? You know, what are you thinking? You, you, they're coming out with the iPhone, supposedly in September. Boost Mobile is. Um, they're also coming out with, uh, the believe, hasn't been confirmed. It's just a rumor. The uh, Samsung S2. It's cool. H. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is the Samsung S2, which is cool and all. But the only thing that I, I thought about in the long run, when before I decided to get this phone. Uh, was a should I wait for uh, another 4G phone to come out on Boost Mobile, or should I also wait for another 4G phone that has ice cream? Um, you know, I didn't want to wait that long, so obviously, I went to the store near your uh, location and picked up the uh, HTC phone. Uh, actually, two days after it came out. Uh, the reason why I took this long to do the review is because I wanted to basically play around with it, um, see what it's capable of doing, uh, the difference between the LG Marquee and the uh, HTC uh, 4G uh, design. I, I just wanted to see um, what you experience, like what the experience is like after two weeks worth of usage, or, or I'm sorry, probably a week worth of usage. Uh, typically when you take a phone out the box, it comes stock. Um, normally, it's gonna it's gonna look good to the naked eye. You know, you see it on YouTube. Hey, ooh, took it out the box. Looks fancy. The court looks fine. Ooh, you know, it runs smooth. Of course, it's gonna run smooth because there's nothing on there. And usually, again, anything that's stock, preloaded, the phone's gonna operate. It's gonna look good. Let's face it. You want to see something that's operating over time. So, uh, let me get the unboxing stuff. Real quick, give me one second. And I, I, I'm pretty sure you saw this in other reviews. But when you get the uh, phone, it does come in this lovely, nice little box. Uh, not going to spend too much time again. I, I'm not a fan of the whole unboxing. Uh, it does come with this handy booklet, so. You can pretty much figure out what to do, how to operate your phone. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't like to read, so that's why I created this review to show you the differences that they uh, integrated with the ginger between gingerbread and the ice cream. Because there's a lot to learn, a lot of cool features. They made a lot of things easier uh, for you tech geeks out there like me. Yeah, it also came out with a, uh, a cord, which I'm gonna get really quick. Give me one second. Yeah, okay. So it came with this um, with this lovely adapter, as you can see, HTC, and your typical data cord. And that, my friend, is unboxing the four G design brought to you by HTC. All right, enough of that crap. Let's get into the phone. First, this is the HTC four design. Uh, if you notice, it does not come with this cover. It does not come with the um, protection, per se, for the screen. Uh, what I did, because I know I'm going to get questioned on this on YouTube, which I don't mind asking. This obviously came from um, the store located near you. Uh, they actually had this in the stores, obviously, because it's a, almost a year old phone, I believe. Um, so you'll have you'll find phone cases like this. This just so happened to be in the store. I didn't feel like waiting. I wanted to pick it up real quick, protect it as fast as possible because I'm the type of person that will drop the phone, and I've done it a million times. Uh, I got the screen protector. Um, it's the same thing I've been using for the Samsung Ultra Transform. Same type of one I've been using for the um, LG Marquee, and I will say the. I, for some reason, if you use the, the Droid X screen protector, it fits, slaps right on there, it works just fine. So I'm going to try to do everything off the top of my head. No scripts, no nothing. Everything is just going to be 
sort of edit it, but I'm going to try to go over things as fast as possible. I know, you know people like to talk like this when they're doing reviews, but that's not how I want to do things. I'm going to try to make it exciting, so follow me here. We're going to first uh, fire up the uh, HDC. Okay, you may or may not see this well, so I'm going to try to at least... Yeah, there we go. Okay. First glance, if you notice, um, ice cream sort of design. Oh, before I even get into the phone, okay, sorry. Uh, quick question and a quick answer, because I know the question is, how is the battery compelled to compare to compelled compelled to the LG uh, Marquee? It is a lot better, and that's with Wi-Fi, with the Evo D, which is 3G uh, signal. It's uh. It's it's pretty good. That's a evil D E V D O signal, which is basically 3G. Um, it actually is well. The battery does well. I've, and I'm talking about countless uh, usage as far as like day in day out. If I were to give it a range, usable Wi-Fi. I, I know what they say in the specs with everything, but I, I would say at least four four and a half hours with Wi-Fi, and that yeah, that's excessive use. You got to really be on there on Facebook. Uh, Streaming video, etc., etc. Uh, I'm trying to think everything off the top of my head. If you're using with 3G, you should get at least five, six hours, seven, maybe seven hours, depending. On the, but if you don't use it as much, you should get at least eight or nine hours. I know what you're thinking. That's not what the spec says. Well, screw the specs. I say, screw the specs, simply because it's a, it's a good phone, and I've used it throughout the day. I don't need to charge it once. Uh, if I had the LG Marquee, I, I must admit, it wasn't to me a mistake of purchasing that phone. It was just, uh, hey, look, I had the best, I had the best out of that phone. I don't even talk about it, but it's still cool. And if you're asking what the heck is this thing around my neck, I will get into this in a moment because I found something quite interesting um, with these iPhone headsets or Apple headsets. Um, use compared to the uh, marquee and the HTC. I'll get to that after we get into the phone details. So let's go back into the phone. Um, as you can see, I am also not on Wi-Fi. I'm going to hit this up, and there we have our ice cream. You may or may not see it. There we go. Focus. There we go. Um, the cool thing about ice cream, the first thing that I noticed is the arrangement of icons. If you hold down your icon, you can move it. Oh, you used to be able to move it down, as everybody knows, with gingerbread. The trash can would probably appear here. You hold onto the icon, drag it there, it erases. With ice cream, you hold onto the icon, and I'm not holding onto the icon. But you can see right there, this side. It says you'll be able to drag it up to the. It's kind of weird at first when you when you first use this. It is kind of weird, but you'll get used to it. Um, another thing about ice cream. Hey, check this out. I know if if you haven't seen it before, I'm pretty sure you've seen it now. Take a look. Try to get this thing's damn thing still. Stay still. Right there. Okay. You notice that if I press this. Hey, I can select all those three icons that are integrated into one go off into one system. It sort of looks like the just think about the Apple. If you haven't seen like the iPhone or the iTouch, or if you have seen it, I should say. You'll notice that this is uh, a little bit oddly similar. I mean you can stack at least I don't know, twelve, I believe, twelve maximum icons. So if I drag this into there, well, guess what? Now I have, you can see it, let me get the focus in. Now I have four icons in there. And if I press, confirm, yes, boom, four. Uh, so that's the one thing you can do with ice cream, which I thought was cool. Uh, another thing, sort of like the apple. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. That, 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 uh, that, that you'll notice in ice cream is that you see these four icons? Two here at the bottom. Oop, you can't see that two here at the bottom and another two on the other side you'll be able to integrate and change those as well don't believe me well check this out 
Alright, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, and I did not hold it down. Did I hold it? Did I hold it? Did I hold it? No, I didn't hold it. Now I hold it. There you go. And you can move it. So, I thought that was another thing that was cool uh, with the ice cream. That's pretty cool. You can uh, change what's down here, minus the apps, obviously, because you cannot move that icon. That was uh, there by default with the ice cream. Um, if you actually hold, actually, let's go into ice cream. If you noticed, with uh, gingerbread, you get a grid instead of a list of icons. If you press your menu key, you'll get that option at the top. You can't really see it. But the first option, which is right there, says list and it'll change it the way that you normally would see it in gingerbread uh, and I wasn't lying when I said I was going to preload a lot of applications on this thing because uh, I wanted to see what its limitations were you know being as though it was a single core processor and everybody on Virgin Mobile who had that dual core uh, 4G no, I'm sorry the 3D uh, version of the HTC phone I don't care, I'm paying $40 a month. So anyway, uh, going back to the phone, uh, you'll see that basically the list of icons there, there's a lot of apps on here, and the reason why I purposely did that, again, I wanted to test out the whole single core, dual core thing. I keep saying that dual core, eh, it's tied, it's twice the speed, etc, etc, but I'm not going to get too much into that. If you Google it, unless you're getting twice the speeds that you would normally get with a single core, you're not getting twice the speeds, just to let you know. So, back to this. We're going to go back into this. Alright, so, we have the phone here. Um, another thing that was uh, pretty cool about the HTC phone. HTC phone has, or usually most of them have, what's called the... If I can find it. French Dream. Which I thought was pretty cool. As of right now, it used to be Twitter that you could sync up uh, with French Dream, but right now all I have is Facebook. Uh, if I can scroll up and down, am I scrolling up and down? Here we go. And you can see the latest updates as if you're looking on your Facebook page, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, let me see. The feel of the phone, I, 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 also at the end of this video, you will see video pictures of the front, the back, um, the video camera which I'll get into um, the camera itself and its features and its capabilities but back to the phone uh, there we go alright so back to the phone I'm gonna go into I just want you guys to see everything and how everything is basically laid out uh, if you go into I'm gonna press in case nobody caught that which I'm pretty sure they didn't because the phone was not on I'm going to go into, let's say if I was dialing out, okay, and we're going to cover that up because it's going to list a bunch of numbers, but that's basically what it looks like, the phone. Uh, another thing that I, I noticed that was uh, pretty cool was the visual voicemail. Now, I pay $40 a month uh, for this phone, so what? <laughs> it's a pretty cool feature, but if you have or you had Google Voice, you'll know that it's basically like um, you, you, you're you able to see your voicemail as opposed to dialing you know you dial up your voicemail let's say 19 people called you you gotta sit there and filter out and wait for all 19 people or 19 messages to go through before you can filter out those days are done um, it's pretty cool like my sister left me a voicemail at the top and you'll be able to delete it from there visual voicemail it's a pretty cool feature it's about $1.99 a month so, two bucks, forty dollars a month is now forty-two. You know, a big whoop. Uh, I find it to be useful because I get a lot of calls, and again, I, that example alone, and I get nine, ten, eleven calls a day, and it's like, look, I'm not looking through or listening to all the, you know, all the voicemail. I'm just going to sit there and delete it. It will, it will translate what they said, or at least try to. It's not 100% accurate, but you have an idea. You can actually play 
you don't understand what the heck you're reading or what it tried to interpret, you can press play uh, and basically hear the voicemail. Uh, so I'm in visual voicemail. Yeah, that's my little sis, but of course I got to cover up the number so you can't see it. You know. Um, uh, what else can I go over with this phone? Uh, actually, one cool thing that I wanted to f talk about uh, real quick. I know the, the, the monthly coverage is 2.5, I believe. 2.5 gigs is what they throttle. Now, don't, don't be alarmed by that number because a lot of people really can't use 2.5 gigs on the phone. I mean, you got to be downloading a lot of con content, probably, I'd say a lot. For you to go over four, your 4G um, uh, max space. So if you're streaming a lot, like your Wi-Fi, if you're in an area that has 4G coverage, and I encourage you to check your coverage map, because if you're not in the metropolitan area, chances are you're not going to have 4G. It's that simple. Um, is it worth getting this phone if you had the LG Marquee or the LG Marquee or the Warp? If you're in a town that has 4G capability, then yes, because then you're knocking yourself out. You're going from 4G, from 3G to 4G capable um, radio towers, which is which is pretty cool because I've done the speed test. Uh, I believe, and I got five up. Actually, I'm going to do one before uh, before this video segment is over. Um, and I got speeds of five megs down, and I believe one up, one meg up, which is pretty fast. Um. Yeah. So what was I? Where was I? Where was I? Ah, cool features about HTC phone. HTC, their their application, their operating system linked with Ice Cream, phenomenal. I just showed you the HTC Stream, um, I believe app not too long ago. Uh, they also have their own um, wallpaper skins and you know. You can basically customize your HTC. They, they do come preloaded. I'm going to show you. If you hold down the home key, okay, you'll see your personalization uh, screen that comes up. It sort of looks like uh, like it was before. The only difference is if you look at the bottom. That's right. You can't see it again. Let me see if I can make it a little bit clearer for you. you probably can't. But at the bottom, there's a is an ad. I'm sorry. Add to home, which is the icon you can add on your on your screen, just like Gingerbread. There's a display and there's a sound. Now, display. If you click on it, I don't know if you can see it. Oh man, this camera sucks. I have to get another one. But you you have the option of changing your your skin, the scene, the way it looks. And again, it does come preloaded with some. If you sign on to the HTC website and sign up for the HTC Club, I believe what it's called. You can download more content. Now, before I get into the phone, I will say when I tried that HTC, it didn't work. And then I look at the carriers on your phone, or I'm sorry, I look at the carrier that you have provided on your website, and Boost Mobile is not on there. Uh, but that's okay. And I'm not sure if that has any type of effect of uh, how you sign up on your HTC Club, but it ain't working. So I just wanted to let you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, the display. Let me go into, oh, before I go into the settings, uh, the Wi-Fi on this phone. When I had the, the Samsung, uh, the Samsung, the LG Marquee, uh, whew, man, I was so tired. I created a multi-application box where you can see right here call it utilities oh before I get into that there's a usage icon or usage program that comes with the HTC phone so if you're not sure as to how much you're using per month and you want a good idea you go into usage this will come out and it'll tell you should tell you ah right there right below the chart It'll tell you how much you use. And so far, I've used 148 megs, and that was because I was downloading all these applications from um, the App Store. Um, a surprising number for all you Facebook fans. What is the number one used used icon that consumes a lot of data? And that's right. You see it at the top. 
Facebook, 51.95 megs. Reason being, I upload a lot of information and download a lot of information off Facebook. Facebook alone draws a lot of data. So for those of you who have AT&T, T-Mobile, you're wondering why, why, oh why, is the data going by so quick? Yeah, Facebook. Just letting you know. So, let's go back to the phone and under settings. We're going to go to, ah, this is what I was talking about. So you see you have your Wi-Fi, uh, you have your Bluetooth, your mobile network. Let's, let's be honest. Um, if they find a route for this phone with ice cream on it, You'll be able to do that for free. So paying five dollars a month to, for a hotspot, I mean, it's not that bad. But come on, uh, if you remember my videos from last time, you know that I use Easy Tether, which basically you hardwire your connection into the uh, computer to your phone, and you can browse online. Just wanted to let you know. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can leave me a comment or just look at one of my videos that I've done I think it's on the Samsung transform ultra it's actually a video designated just to explain how to do that so but anyway if you go to um, go to your settings um, you'll see the features and this phone just went off for me you'll see the features uh, in case you were wondering because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get questioned on this too I have the weather skin on right now if you can see there you go the weather skin it's pretty cool you see the little raindrops because it is raining and it does suck right now that's why I'm doing this video so that you guys know um, again you would do that through your personalization hold down the uh, home key go to personalization um, you go to skin I believe and you can change your you, know, you, you get the point uh, but anyway going back to the phone so I created a utilities oh oh Oh, I just saw something. Sorry. If you hold down the home key, another thing about ice cream, hold down the home key, check this out. You can see the last, I believe, six or seven things that you've done to the phone. And that bright sun is killing me. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, going back to the phone, I have the utilities. Man, I really need to close this line. Give me one second. Can you see me? Everything good? Uh, man, I look. Uh, this is creepy. I'm in the dark. Uh, let's see. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. It's dark for now because I wanted to go over. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? I wanted to go over. Now you can see the phone. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to my utilities icon. And then you'll see I have I put the Wi-Fi signal the 4G. Uh, there's it has its own task killer by the way, its own task killer, which I think is pretty good because if you remember Gingerbread, um, you have to always have the task killer app and you sit there and process it and it kills blah blah blah. This task killer is integrated on the phone. If you press it, it basically shows all the tasks that are running. You can kill all, and it will literally kill all. There's no kill, and the application will run back again in the background. It kills it. Once it kills it, it's done until you open it again. Oh, okay. So, I'm not going to kill all. There we go. I'm not going to kill all, um, but that's the uh, task manager. Let me go back to the icon. So, I'm going to turn on so I was trying to get at let's turn on the 4G I'll press 4G at the top right there and it'll say tap to scan for 4G service it's looking for 4G it's looking for 4G it's like Wi-Fi though, it takes some time to get on the 4G network. 
Uh, and there you go. Go back, go back. I'm trying to show you the thing, but Lord, this this has the worst, worst angles. But the 4G is now on. So what I'm going to do, it, it does tell you if the signal strength is, is good, poor, medium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's do a speed test, okay, with 4G. I'm ping it now, and let's see, 1.67 down. Megs, and let me see. Probably gonna get. Better. That's a poor signal 4G, which uh, it's not that bad. And I got 0 .07 up. Again, that's in a poor 4G area. Uh, when I do my second video, I'll go into my other room where, for some reason, I have outstanding 4G coverage. But the rooms are literally like uh, not that far apart. So, uh, I'm going to turn off my 4G. Another thing, the battery life will be killed if you ever run 4G and Wi-Fi at the same time. Do not run 4G and Wi-Fi at the same time. You have 4G. If you're in a 4G area, you don't need 4G. You have no Wi-Fi, do that. If you're in a Wi-Fi area that you have internet access to, turn off the 4G because you will be burning it, your battery unnecessarily which is why I'm turning lines off because I'm in a Wi-Fi network which I'm not using yet okay um, let's see what else I can cover for you ah. headphones so if I told you that these headphones the microphone works on the HTC would you believe me maybe yes maybe no I know this for one fact is that I tried this on the Samsung Transform Ultra, the LG Marquee, the headphones did not work microphone wise. So people can, people, I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me. Um, HTC phone, or it, it works. It, it definitely works. People can hear me. Um, I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll put these headphones on and I'll plug it up into the phone. Now, you see that I'm not touching a darn thing, correct? I just have the headsets right here. Now watch what happens when I double tap it. You're not supposed to turn off. It'd be cool if you could do that. I wish I could get a better angle of this. There you go. I can place a call. I can place a call by double tapping the middle of this so-called Apple headset. Just saying. Now watch, uh, I don't know if I should have put that on YouTube, because five minutes later, you know, they'll probably come out with some patent that'll, that'll block that too. Uh, but yeah, overall, I would say with extensive usage, um, I'm going to conclude this video for now uh, because I'll go through the music and the, uh, the, the you know, other stuff that you can do with the phone. Just not now. I just wanted to go over the basics. Um, again, if I were to rate this phone with the Boost mobile phones that I've had so far, so that includes the Prevail, Transform Ultra, the LG Marquee, I would have to say on a scale of 1 to 10 with Boost Mobile phones that this is a, a 9. This is a 9. Um, it's a good phone. Really good phone. And, and again, I don't lag to save my life. And right now, if you can see, I'm sitting there. All the apps preloaded. And I'm just, you see me doing this. This is real time. I mean, it, it's fast. Very fast. You don't see any lag. Um, so I'm going to end it right here and say that I'll be back for part two of this series. Uh, take a look at the end. I took a couple of snapshots uh, with it. Oh, before I end this, um, I wanted to let you know that with the video, with the camera aspect, um, the camcorder that comes with this phone, you can trim videos. So if you record a video, uh, which I'll actually incorporate the next video that I do, 
Um, you can take video pictures, video pictures. You can take video um, slides and literally trim them. So and you can also also have an effect um, as well. You can. I thought it was pretty cool. You have the aqua effect. Uh, you can't really see that well. Well, uh, you have some some effects that that go not with just the the camera as um, I believe Johnny Knoxville, I believe his name is. Um, or Knoxville, and I see Johnny Knoxville. Knoxville, if you're looking at this or if somebody knows him, you know who I mean. Uh, he did the review, and it, basically the effects that you can do with the uh, the camera, you can also do with the video camera, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you're going to get this phone, um, if you have the LG Marquee, never mind. If you have the LG Marquee, um, I would wait till the price drops. I mean, the reason why I got this phone is because I have, uh, I'm not rich, but I, I do get paid to a certain extent. And I, I did want to get this phone. Uh, I will not be getting the iPhone because I do not want to go back to 3G. Um, and don't want to pay $400 or $500 outright for a phone. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but. Again, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with other phones for 4G for the 4G network, but I'm going to stick with this for now. Uh, I love my 4G design. Uh, do I recommend you get it? You can't even see. We can't even see me right now. Give me one second. Uh, okay. Do I recommend you get this phone? Heck yeah! Um, I've had so much fun with it. I uh, can't put it down. And again, it's very, 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 very good, um, and it's fast for a single core processor. Um, so uh, that's my first review of this phone. Uh, thumbs up if you already have it, and that's about it. <laughs>